She is so beautiful. This has got to be the best purse that I've had in my entire life. I've never gotten more compliments on a bag before. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Brahmin bag that honestly has sold me on Brahmins probably for the rest of my life. I have never felt this way about a purse before. I feel like it's become part of my personality. Literally everywhere that I go with this bag in hand, people ask me about it. People want to know where I got it, how much it costs, and things like that. So in this video, I'm going to be talking with you about some of the qualities that this bag has, some of the features on it that I like or that I don't like, and just kind of my overall experience carrying this bag for a year now. So obviously it has some um, distress to it at this point because I've been carrying it so long, but I think so far um, I'm very impressed with the quality of this bag given that I have been pretty rough on it. So I did buy this one at a Brahmin store. I went to the Brahmin store in Birmingham, Alabama at the Summit and this store um, you know had three of these bags and I actually asked them to see all three. They had some more in the back and so this one wound up being the best pattern in my opinion. Um, Brahmin bags always have a little bit of variation to them so you can tell that there are some differences and then with these cotton candy colors um, some of them uh, are, were more vibrant than others I actually got this wallet out of two or three different ones because this one was also like the most vibrant they had some that were just not quite as bright so I went with these and the store associate was really helpful about showing me all the ones that they had so I really appreciated that that is a tip for you guys make sure that you make them pull out everything that they've got because sometimes they'll have a brighter, more vibrant bag in the back. I'm not really a person who changes my purse out a lot, especially not with the seasons. Um, I felt like this purse has a lot of room. I will say that I really regret putting a pin in the purse because it got some ink in the bottom of it. But overall, I mean, it's a ton of room. This style is called the Caroline. So um, overall, I feel like, I mean, I've got way more room in this than what I need. I love all the different zipper pockets. Um, one thing that it has is you can pull, put your keys on this and so you won't lose them. You can just kind of clip them to that. So that's kind of helpful. Um, it's also got some smaller pockets and then it has one pocket on the outside outside that um, I really I don't really ever utilize this pocket but you you could I guess now in terms of the carrying style you've got this long strap and I'm just put this on here just now to show you guys um, what you could do with it I don't personally carry it that way I carry it like you know like this over my arm I don't like to carry it over my shoulder. I just feel like I wanna have my purse close to me. And so for that reason, I just took that off of there. I just don't wanna carry it like that. Um, but one thing I'll say is because of carrying it for so long um, by handles, it has sort of started to wear on the color of that. So unfortunately, I have seen a little bit of wear and tear with this bag. Nothing that I wouldn't expect after carrying a purse for a year, but I do want to note that. Another feature that I really love about this bag is that it has these little things on the bottom that keep it from touching the ground fully. So these little gold notches on the bottom, you can kind of sit your purse down. It also keeps it from falling over. So if you're going to sit down in a restaurant or something, you can kind of just sit it down, sit it beside you, and you don't have to worry about that bag touching the ground. Now, I did want to get some footage of the bag out side because I feel like the colors really show through a little bit better in the sunlight. You've got the purple, the blue, and almost kind of like a greenish color to it. And I really just love the way that these colors pop. I feel like you could carry this bag pretty much any time of the year and you're going to get compliments on it. My last Brahmin bag was a darker color and I really like that darker color, but this one seems to get more compliments and it seems to get more attention. Now let's talk about the Brahmin wallet. So this is my first Brahmin wallet. I had another Brahmin bag before, um, but as for the wallet, I wanted everything to match so I did spring for the wallet and honestly I've gotten used to it but overall I feel like um, it just didn't have enough space I, I don't know what I must be taking a lot of things and putting them in my wallet but um, at first it was hard to get it open um, it really was real tough the leather was still kind of hard but now that I've used it for a year um, it's definitely easier to maneuver um, you can see that the colors here are also very vibrant and once again um, when I get this thing out people always love it they love to compliment me on it and I'm not saying that to brag I'm just 
just saying like it brings joy to people to see like brightly colored things so that's kind of fun so inside the wallet you've got plenty of different compartments for all of your different cards um, you've got sections for um, like checks and things like that yes I am still carrying a checkbook I know that that is like an old lady thing to do but I'm still carrying it I still use it and I occasionally write checks so this wallet while um, not my favorite thing in the world, it has been extremely durable. It's got a little snap here. So you can see it just kind of closes with that little snap. And I forgot to mention that the bag here closes with a zipper. So you can close it pretty easily. Um, it closes and then it kind of folds over so you can push that in. Um, I personally will not carry a purse that does not zip up because I am careless and I'm very paranoid about people reaching in and taking something out so I have to have a zipper on my purse I do not want to have just the clasp thing um, plus I mean it's just too easy to lose stuff like that so that's just my personal opinion I don't know if everyone is like that but I have to have a little bit of a zipper on my purse to feel like I'm secure one thing that I feel like I really messed up on is I did not register this bag when I bought it and I was talking with the lady about her Brahmin bag collection and she said that um, she had sent some of them off to get repaired um, and I really wish that I knew where that card was because when I bought the bag I had you know the fancy um, bag that they put it in and then a registration card and I guarantee you that I probably just threw it away <laughs> I really wish I didn't do that but um, but I may still try to get in touch with Brahmin about this strap to see if they can replace it because otherwise the bag is in wonderful condition I mean you could probably get another five years out of this bag and I, I really feel like honestly their stuff is made to last I've debated going to uh, the Brahmin store in Birmingham again because they seem to have a pretty good collection and then sometimes they'll run their sale for 30% off so um, but unfortunately I did pay full price for this bag and the wallet um, it was around I think right at $500 for the bag and the wallet but like I said I have been carrying it for over a year so it's really it's held the test of time and I'm really impressed with the quality of it one thing that I think is super useful is all the pockets inside I mean you're definitely going to get plenty of use out of them um, one rule that I have is like not to put any liquids or anything in my purse and like I said I really kind of messed up by putting that pen in there because it's got a little bit on the bottom interior here I don't even want to show you all this I'm so like embarrassed that I did this but um, this is the ink that I unfortunately have gotten in the purse but overall the lining is still in super good shape you can kind of pull it out and see it and I could probably have it relined I guess if I wanted to but um, overall I think I'll probably just wind up getting a new Brahmin this year um, I'm leaning towards those metallic silvery white colors but I also thought maybe I want a pink one or maybe I just want like a classic brown one so um, a lot of possibilities for my next bag but this bag has been honestly the best purse that I've ever had it's a wonderful just way to make yourself feel good I know it sounds kind of silly I always thought that spending a lot of money on a bag was like frivolous but honestly the way it makes you feel is more about what it is it's not so much of like a status symbol thing for me as it is about me like manifesting like a way of feeling and a way of life that I want to live so I hope that you guys enjoyed my Brahmin review this cotton candy bag has got to be my favorite purse that I've ever carried in my life so hopefully my next one will give me just as much joy as this one has but thank you guys so much for watching the video if you have any questions or anything that you want to add just leave it in the comment section below I'm pretty good about checking the comments but until then I will catch you guys in the next video take care